this upcoming week is the first day of summer. So what better time to do pedicure strips? Trigger warning, you're gonna be seeing my feet. So for some unknown reason, I decided to do this out on my front porch. Um, I thought it would be better lighting and a little bit better maybe view, but my neighbor's cows and donkeys are going crazy today. Don't know why, but they are. So you might hear a little bit of that in the background. Just a heads up, but let's do some patties. It's the same thing that you would do with your fingers. You're gonna go ahead and get your prep pad. You're gonna make sure that your feet are nice and clean. I usually recommend like putting your foot in the bathtub and cleaning it really well there before you come here. I decided to do it in the dirty outside, so we'll see how this goes. Also, if your feet kind of like these toes on my feet kind of overlap a bit, I would go ahead and clean the side of your toes as well because they are gonna be touching when you're not working on those toes and you want to really make sure that the toenail stays clean. I don't know if you can hear my cows, but if you do, let me know if you can hear the donkeys and the cows. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get a fingernail file. I've got my cuticles pushed back on my toes, and I've got them filed how I want them. And I've got a um, rubber cuticle stick and a wooden cuticle stick or orange stick. Then here is what the pedicure strip looks like. I am using how sweet it is. It's one of the more popular colors. And I'm going to show you what comes in a pack. It's just exactly like your regular manicure set on the inside. Like you've got the same items that you have. Except it's got these cute little graphics on it. I don't think the regular ones have that. Okay. So you got your prep pad, which I just used. Your nail file. And then your petty strip. So if you look at these, they are a bit different than the regular. They're a bit more square. And the reason why is because your toenail beds tend to be a little bit more square than your fingernails. So you've got all these sizes and you've got a second behind it. Now you will notice that these aren't two-sided like the other ones are. And the reason why the manicure strips are two-sided, if you actually look at them, they're a different shape on each side. So these are still meant to only be a one-time use for Color Street and you have different sizes to fit different fingernails. Now, if you wanted to try to get two pedicures or if you wanted to share a pedicure set with somebody, one of the kind of workarounds for that is you could take the other side here and you could flip it around and you could trace with a pin around here to get the same shape and then you could cut it and that way you could actually get two out of this so i'm going to take my first one here and i am going to find all the right sizes and that is key to this first. That's the whole reason why they made these pedicure strips is they really wanted them to be easy to do because you're not near as, um, it's not near as easy to get to your toes as it is your hands. So the purpose of the pedicure set, yes, you can use manicure sets to do your toes, but the purpose is these are made specifically to match your toenails as best as possible to make it easier. So you don't have to do a whole lot of cleanup work. I don't want to do cleanup work on my toes. I just want to pop the nail strips on there and be done with it. Okay, so finding the neck sizes. All right, so I definitely overheated my camera in the front on the front porch. So we moved to the back porch where there's more shade. but still nice lighting. So you can probably still hear the cows and the donkeys. You're welcome. Try to keep things entertaining around here. Uh, but we are on the ground on my back porch. So I already went ahead and did this one. <clears throat> like I said, I kind of flipped this around to make sure there was any dead skin off and then use my prep pad again for it. And we're just going to finish doing the rest of them. So I've taken my plastic off. And then I'm going to take this strip off. Line it up with my cuticle. And again, I have a harder time getting them to stick my toes because I have more oily toes so I just have to really make sure that I pinch my toe and apply a lot of pressure to it and that usually does the trick then I'm going to take my handy dandy rubber cuticle stick and do the same thing
All right, there you go. My beautiful, beautiful pedicure. I do personally find the pedicure strips a little easier for me than using a manicure strip. However, you can use any color nail strip on your toes. Just find the closest color and you use your nice little orange stick to clean up any excess. I have really stiff hips. So getting down on the ground like this um, and having to maneuver um, the manicure strips is kind of difficult for me sometimes and it, I have to be on the ground a little bit longer so I do like doing this. I have no problem doing uh, the manicure strips on other people's toenails. I find that this is just there's a lot less cleanup with it because they match up to your toes so much better that there's just a lot less you have to do. So I really am a big fan of using the pedicure strips for your toes. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you learned something. Uh, if there's anything you'd like me to see, drop it down in the comments. If you like this video and like to see more, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can see. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. That really, really helps me out with the channel. And let me know what else you'd like to see. You'll have a great day.